so till now we have been doing you know uh, very plain examples you know trying to understand the scenes behind you know how the function is working and various kinds of functions nested outer inner returning and all of such now we are going to have uh, something like attaching events basically okay so let us see now let me first of all declare okay let me add two buttons and i call the first one as button dummy and i would say this one as type equal to button and i'm going to call value equal to uh, this is a dummy button okay so I click on the following button to make it functional okay so that's just a message on the button itself and i'm going to have one more button uh, i can say button do a sign or whatever you can just put anything there so this is going to be another button and this is going to have a value as something like attach an event and make above button functional okay so currently both of the buttons are dummy so even though you click anything nothing will happen as because you did not write any code for the click events of those buttons so my intention is initially this button will be dummy which means it is not going to be assigned with any kind of event so clicking on the first button would not really do anything initially but once i click on the second button it is going to make the first button work with its own event okay so which means you are attaching an event dynamically at run time for a button okay so that is what i'm trying to accomplish so i would like to call something like function attach event okay and first of all uh, i get hold of this button dummy so you have document dot get element by id and um, the name of this button here is button dummy so let me give that so in that way okay. so this is nothing but button dummy right now okay and now what i'm saying is as long as it could find the button so i can use something like this so whenever i say if button dummy which means if this is not nothing which means if button dummy is really a button okay so that is what it says okay so in c sharp or visual basic we have is nothing or is null so in this way we can easily say if button dummy is having something inside it then only go ahead and proceed okay so sometimes you know uh, if this document dot get element by id is unable to find the button then this could be null so whenever this is null you know this if condition will not be passed through okay and now the important one is here so i'm saying that button dummy dot on click so this is the event so earlier you can see button dummy is not having any on click event here but instead you are defining on click event for the button dynamically using our own anonymous function okay so here what i'm going to say is alert hey i am functional okay and at the same time i would like to have the caption also to be changed to something like this not dummy anymore okay click on this to test something like that you know okay now this function needs to be executed whenever i click on do assign so i am directly assigning to on click event for this button 
So this button is having an on-click event directly declared at the time of declaration itself, which means it is declaratively assigned during the markup itself. So this is not dynamic. This is already prefetched as part of our HTML. It is prepared in such a way. Okay, but here this button is not equipped with any of the on click by default as part of our HTML document. But instead, one, once you click on this button, you know, this function gets executed in such a way that it is able to find the button dummy, which is nothing but this one. And we are going to assign an on click event dynamically at runtime. And at the same time, we are modifying the contents of the button dynamically. And now let us see if this is working. So as you know, this is by default, it is dummy. And now I click on this. How? Okay, it blow up. Okay, you know the mistake? So we need to have the parenthesis to make sure that it is the function which needs to be executed immediately. Okay, now again, this one is dummy. And now once I click on this one, now you can see it has been changed to something. And once I click on this, it is functional. Okay, so in that way, we can dynamically attach different kinds of functions to the events at runtime. Okay, so we are the whole class, I mean, the previous session and this session, we are working only with functions in various ways. Okay, but you can see we have all of such kind of beautiful functionality of functions to be assigned to other various elements of HTML wherever possible. Okay. Okay, so that is how we can have, you know, multiple events and multiple functions to be attached at runtime. Okay?